The Bonelli's eagle flies over the garden. Clouds are accumulating. Weather conditions in this mountainous area are variable. The rain begins. This storm will not last long. A common linnet takes advantage of the moment to refresh and rest. A peacock displays his feathers in the garden. Changes in atmospheric pressure often trigger reproductive frenzies. What happens with these goldfish is a good example. Some spawning mops have been put into the pond to collect the eggs later. The goldfish is native to East Asia. It was first selectively bred in ancient China more than 1,000 years ago. Even today some goldfish breeders develop new phenotypes like the one we see in this pond. This unique phenotype was developed here and is mainly characterized by the height of its body, the shape of its fins and a certain color combination. Little predators like this Everglades pygmy sunfish can eat many goldfish fry. Juvenile goldfish feed on small creatures, they especially like water fleas, small planktonic crustaceans. The water fleas are typically filter feeders, ingesting mainly unicellular algae and various sorts of organic detritus. Goldfish also eat a wide variety of aquatic creatures, such as these, which resemble some types of marine coral. During the storm, a large female frog came from the river to the ponds. The males were waiting for her. The first frog eggs soon appear. Tadpoles eat algae. Some of them become little frogs during the same year.
Others will spend the winter being tadpoles and the following spring they will emerge from the water. The European Hornet, a potential prey. This little frog watches from the grass by the pond, it is a European tree frog. It is better not to attack the largest asocial wasp native to Europe. 